Hi, I'm Angie. I want to welcome you to National Indoor RV Centers, where we specialize in the sales, storage, service, and detailing of only high-end, new, and used coaches. So basically, we do it all. Hi, thank you for joining me today to do the walkthrough of the 2019 Newmar Ventana. So this is a beautiful coach. I can't wait to show you some of the new exteriors, new features, new standard things that they've added this year. One of the things that I always love about Newmar is they only use the best paint. So they use BASF paint, and this has the full paint masterpiece finish with the protective film on the front cap. Also notice Newmar uh, had the way they mount their windshields. They, they mount them just like the automotive industry, just makes them look nice and pretty and they don't have the big rubber gasket around uh, the windshield. Also, Newmar always features comfort drive. I'll talk about that today when I'm actually driving the coach. It's a great feature that uh, is gonna make your driving experience with Newmar one of a kind. Now Newmar added the nice chrome here to the front headlights and we've got new marker lights. We also have, as a standard this year, which I love, are the chrome exterior convex mirrors. So this is nice. These are also um, heated and internally controlled. We also have here something that Newmar added last year, our flagpole, so that's always nice. You can fly the American flag or your favorite team or National Indoor RV flag if you'd like. We'd like that. We also have our, our side cameras here, so when you turn on your right blinker or your left blinker, you're gonna be able to see down the full length of your coach. The Ventana comes with 305 Michelin tires all the way around. So again, Newmar just packs this coach full of quality products. We also have the standard aluminum wheels. And then right behind your front axle, your front tire here, you've got a steel plate, which is going to protect your fuel line from any debris flying up from the front tires. Because right behind that, obviously, you've got your fuel fill. This is dual fill, so you can do it on the driver's side or the passenger side for your 100 gallon fuel tank. So if you ever end up, and I hope you don't have a front end blowout, your fuel line is gonna be protected. Below the fuel fill, we have our first marker light. Here's our second marker light so for the passenger side of the coach. These are really important because you wanna make sure everyone sees when you're turning, changing lanes, so we love these. One of the questions I get all the time is when you should put your slides out. So you wanna put your slides out when you're at ride height. That's when your frame is nice and square. You've got a nice square box here. Once you put your jacks down, you may torque that a little bit and you're not gonna have that square box anymore. As you can see, there's very little tolerance here. So I can get my finger in here, I can't even get it in there. So just remember this, ride height, slides out, jacks down. When you go to leave, do it in reverse. Jacks up, slides in. One of the great advantages to give it, getting a Class A diesel is all the storage you get. So check this out. Huge storage compartment here. We have a pass-through compartment here with the optional pass-through tray. Another pass-through compartment. Another compartment that's just a large tray from one side. And then of course, we have our pegboard so that we can hang our tools and all of our extra oils and filters, stuff like that. Numar is always great about sending extra tiles in case you ever need them. They've also added this great little hose here that you can connect to your quick air connect and air up your tires with it. So that's very convenient and nice added feature. Then we have our pass-through tray. Again, this is optional on the Ventana. We always put it at National Indoor RV Center. We always option this in because it's nice to be able to have that pull through so you can get easy access from either side of the coach. Here we have the pass-through compartment without the tray. So that gives you a little extra height because you don't have that tray. So it's nice to have that as an option. And then here we've added the large storage tray just with access from one side. But that's always nice because you can still get in there nice and deep. A few other features in this compartment is we've added the uh, central vac that we've had inside the coach. Now we have a receptacle here so that we can vacuum the bays and you can also pull your car up here, vacuum your car. And one more really nice feature on that this year is that you have an on and off button. 
So you just don't have to keep that running the whole time um, that you've got the vacuum out. You can turn the hose on and off. And they've given us the 110 outlet down here as well. This Ventana sits on the Freightliner chassis. So it comes standard once you reach the 40 and 43 foot coaches with the ultra steer tag axle. This is huge because from curb to curb, it's gonna give you about a 16 feet tighter turning radius. Another thing it's gonna do is eliminate uh, the worry for tire scrub, costly tire scrub, no doubt. And then we have another thing that comes standard on the Freightliner chassis is the V-Ride suspension. So this is huge. This, uh, you know, when you, when you see a coach turning and it's kind of leaning, it's going to give you more stability there to eliminate that leaning. It's also going to give you a greater durability and longevity with your, with your chassis. Here you can see the passenger rear hydraulic leveling jacks, which come standard on the Ventana and they're on all four corners. I wanted to make sure that I talked about Numar's Star Foundation. So you can see the cross members here. Basically the Star Foundation stands for strong, true, and robust. So it's a steel superstructure that adds strength, durability, rigidity, so that your suspension does all the work and not the, the house. Here we have our chassis batteries. And if we're not lucky enough to have you as one of our storage customers at National Indoor RV Centers, where we always keep you in, plugged into 50 amp service, when you go to store your coach, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you cut off all power to your chassis battery so you don't have any parasitic drain on your batteries. We also have our power control center, our fuse box for the back end of the coach here. So behind that panel here, you can see all the fuses. And then in here, we have where you would fill your coolant for your Oasis system. The 4369 sits on the Freightliner XCS chassis with the Cummins diesel engine, 400 horsepower with 1,250 pounds of uh, torque. So we also have this great um, exhaust pipe here. I know that's kind of silly to talk about the exhaust pipe, but normally you'll see exhaust pipe, it's you know more round and narrow and comes out very concentrated. You can easily burn your leg or your foot. So what Numar's done is they put this tapered exhaust pipe on here and it diffuses the heat. So it's not quite so con concentrated. They also give us the rear tow guard with the Numar letters and stainless steel. And then we've got the pretty stainless steel trim here on the fins for our rear radiator. We also have a 15,000 pound hitch. So what does that mean for you? That means that you can easily tow one of the Jeeps that you can buy at National Indoor RV Centers and you're not going to fill it behind you at all. And then we've got the connector here for your lights and brakes for your tow vehicle. Also notice the rear view camera and we have the great ladder for access to your roof. I want to point out that how sturdy this ladder is. It's not rickety. You can easily get up on it and it's not going to bounce around if you need to get up on your coach. Our engine compartment, it's very easy to get into. And here we have our engine oil check and our engine oil fill, our transmission oil check. This is where you would fill the transmission fluid. Then this is really nice. Then you can add your coolant here and you can see the level right there. This is a port so that our technicians can um, hook up to the engine and get engine codes, kind of talk with your engine. And then we've got our air minder for our air filter. On the driver's side, we've got two compartments here at the very back for storage. Now inside this one, we've got our engine block heater. So if you're way far north and you need to go further south, but until you get there, you need to warm up the engine, you just simply plug it in right there. Another compartment here, and it's lit as well. Here's our 13 gallon DEF tank. So that's diesel exhaust fluid. And you, this is 50 to one ratio with your fuel tank. So if you go ahead and take your 100 gallon fuel tank, divide that by two, you're gonna use two gallons of DEF for every 100 gallons of fuel. Or you can say, um, for every six and a half fills, you're gonna, you'll use a full DEF tank. You also have a gauge here, which is nice. It tells you the level of DEF on your coach as well. Note that the key must be on for the DEF gauge to function properly. 
This is our emergency egress door. This is another great safety feature that Numar gives us standard on the 4369 coach. So you can open this from inside the coach only. You're gonna have a grab bar and then you'll have a panel that easily removes and then a telescoping ladder. Have you ever wondered what this vent is right here on the back driver's side corner of your coach? This is the air intake vent for your engine. So right on the other side of this, come over here, there's a tube, the air comes in and runs down right to your air filter, which is right under here. Here we have our compartment for our stinky slinky. This is nice so that you don't have to have that rolling around in your wet bay. And then on to our wet bay. Right here outside of our wet bay, we have the exhaust, that's for our, our Oasis, our on-demand hot water system, which I'm gonna to get to in just a minute. We also have our uh, power water reel. So this is now a standard in the Ventana. Gotta love that, another great standard that they've added. We have our full house um, water filtration system here. We have our sewage rinse. And again, I've talked about the sewage rinse before, but that's basically, you've got a long black tank. You're gonna have a little spigot at one end that's gonna kind of push water through. So it's not really rinsing like I think of a rinse, like in a dishwasher, but it does help push water through your tank. Then we have our sewage water holding tank, our drain outlet, and our gray water holding tank. Our water pump on and off switch here and our low point drains, hot and cold, and our shower. So this is always a nice feature. After you've done all the dirty work, hop out, clean off, or if you're at the beach, you wanna rinse off the kids or our furry friends, great feature to have. I mentioned this is where you would hook up to the city water. So if you're, in the, if you're hooked up to city water, where does your pressure come from? It comes from the city water. Now say that you're ready to leave and you want a full tank of um, fresh water for your trip home. So what you need to do is hook up to the city water. Then you're just gonna turn this valve right here to fill your fresh water tank. Don't worry about overfilling it because there's an overfill valve. You'll have water spilling out underneath the coach if you overfill it. Once it's full, you wanna make sure you shut that because you need to now turn on your water pump and the only way that that will work is if this is closed. So this is where you're going to connect your stinky slinky. You just take that off there. Now, I recommend that you get a clear elbow there so that you can see when the water's coming through clear and that you don't have any more debris in that. So I can go through, you know, suit like three tanks before I start to see clear water with no debris. Here's our 50 amp uh, shore power cord, which is on an automatic reel. And then we have the transfer uh, the safe search guard transfer switch. We have the connections for our cable, our SAT tripod one and our SAT tripod two. And of course we have a light. Here is our Oasis hydronic heating module. So this is what we use for our on-demand hot water in the Ventana and for our furnace once we drop below, you know, 35 degrees. Our heat pumps on our AC units can't keep up any longer. Here we have another marker light on our driver's side. Then we go straight into our pass-through storage compartment. And our pass-through tray that extends on both sides. Here we have our house battery compartment. So this is really nice. We just pull the pin here and we can pull those batteries out so they're very easy to work on. So these are wet cell batteries. We've got eight of them. And if you wanna check your water levels or make sure you're, when you're filling them with distilled water, simply take that off like that. And then you can look down and see right, you wanna fill right to the black line. Driver's side fuel fill for our 100 gallon fuel tank, our marker light. And here, you're gonna notice another exhaust pipe that's for our Onan generator. And then we've got our power control center basically for the front end of the coach. All of our fuses here. Newmark nicely gives us some spare fuses and they've got them 
set in here so that they're not just, you know, rumbling around in your coach or in some plastic baggie somewhere like they would be in mine. And then we've got the release here for the front cap. As I go around the front, I want you to notice the driver's side camera. And then let's go ahead and, all right, let's see what's behind the front cap here. Okay, here we have our air horns and we have our wussy horns at top. We have our hot water line to the generator. This is an option, great thing. You can hook up your hose right here and wash off the front of your windshield and front cap when you get to your campground with hot water. Really nice. We've got our air connector here. So that little hose that I showed you earlier, you can connect that right there. We have our windshield wiper fluid here and our Onan 8000 um, watt generator. So if you were to trip a breaker, this is where you would reset that. Your fuel filter for your generator. Here's the hydraulic fluid for your equalizer leveling system. And then we've got the dash AC unit here. The Ventana comes standard with the dual paned windows and we have the awnings for the individual windows that we can easily pull down. And then we just attach those. Now we have three points of contact with the coach which makes this awning very secure, especially on a windy day like today. The Ventana comes with the Traveler's Power Awnings and they're remote controlled as well. So you can simply hit the button and extend the awning and you can do this from inside the coach as well. You must have the on button on inside the coach for your remote control to work. Now that we have our awnings out, beautiful shade on this great day, it's time to relax and watch a little TV. Here I have the Sony 43 inch 4K uh, ultra high def TV with the, with the Bose soundbar. And this also comes out, tilts and swivels so you can get that just in the perfect location for the best viewing. Here's the control for the Bose, for the TV, off switch and the dash radio. And then we have the GFCI protected outlet, two 110 outlets and two USB outlets. You have three ways to get into your coach. So you've got the key fob, which is nice. That's gonna lock and unlock your intro door. Also, this is great because it does your, your cargo bay as well. So lock and unlock. At a push of a button, no more going by to each door and locking and unlocking, checking them, so I love that. You also have the key, obviously, so that's your second way. And then you have the keyless entry pad, which I love. So you can set your own code if you wanna let you know your friends in, if you need to let a service tech in when you're away, you can give them a code have easy access into your coach. And another favorite is of course, the doorbell, gotta love that, right? Your friends can't say they didn't hear you. Um, or maybe they can, but. And another thing with Numar is they always give us these nice letters here in front. So we have, this is the 4369 floor plan. Now this is one of 13 floor plans that you have in 2019, which is awesome for the consumer. You have, if you can't find a floor plan, you you like I don't know I don't know what to tell you so 13 options this is the 4369 which is kind of Numar's bread and butter uh, the, the great floor plan so the first two digits are the length of the coach so this is a 43 foot long coach the last two are the floor plan all right let's go check out the inside I want you to notice the new screen door we have so this year I don't have to open the panel let flies and bugs in really nice and easy. Another thing that I like about this door is they've given us a new screen door. So that just lifts up. It's really easy to pull up and down and then it just kind of magnetizes in place. Also, Numar gives us the gray handles when we walk in and we have our battery disconnect right here. So as soon as we walk in the coach, we can hit the batteries on or when we leave, we can turn them off really easily. All right, before I put the slides out, I wanted to note that there's new self-activating mechanical locks 
on your slide room. So that's great. That's standard in 2019. Newmar's cogwheel for its slide rooms is much bigger than anyone else in the industry. So one rotation of the cogwheel equals a movement of one foot. So they accomplish the same task with less moving parts so they have less problems with their slides. Here we have a storage compartment, then our Sony 43 inch 4K LED TV, and then one of our most comp important compartments inside the coach. So here, we've got our button for our entry door awning, in and out. This is our awning control for our carefree awning that I demonstrated outside. So for that remote control to work, you've got to have this button on on. If you get that on off, it's not going to work. And then you retract and extend, and then your motion high, medium, low. Here we have our auto gen start. So you can set your coach so that your ACs will come on. Um, if your coach gets below a certain temperature, they'll automatically come on. And here we have our energy management system. So this is going to show us what kind of energy we have. Right now we're hooked up to 50 amp service. And if we start to overload that system, it's gonna to start to automatically shut the load. So it will turn off the rear AC, mid AC. This is our Oasis, this is our um, hydronic heating module. So again, we're gonna use this for our on-demand hot water heater and also for our furnace once we, once we drop below about 35 degrees. And we have our door slide outs, off door slide out and door side slide out, in and out. Our security lights, these are on the outside of the coach and then our exterior step button. So I'm gonna push this button once I'm in the campground. I don't want my steps to go in and out every time that door gets opened or closed. That's just gonna needlessly work that motor. So once you're set and in your campground, go ahead and lock those steps into place. And here we have our tank level system so we can see how much fresh water we have, gray, black, what the levels are, and our house batteries and our chassis batteries. Here we have the SkyPro router LTE. So what that is, is you can add a SIM card to your Verizon or AT&T plan and make your coach a hotspot. It's also gonna be a Wi-Fi extender to reach into the, the camp's Wi-Fi. Then we have our WineGuard Traveler uh, satellite system. So that's gonna be your HD satellite so that you have HD when you're in the campground. All right, here in the passenger's chair, it's very comfortable. It's all made by Flex Steel. And I've got this six-way uh, controls here so I can go forward, backwards, and then up and down. So that's really nice. We also have the workstation which just comes up, flips over so I can easily be reading a book on my laptop, whatever, while we're driving down the road with a little cup holder. You also have another cup holder right here. And Along with that, you have your step cover. So I'm just gonna push that out. I have a nice sturdy step cover here. I can lock and unlock my cargo bays from here and turn the lights on in my cargo bays. I also have a button for my map switch up above and the patio light. Now right behind me on this wall, I've got the control for my air conditioning and heat pumps. The seat belt is adjustable and I've got my wine guard over the air antenna. So if I just wanna hit that on, it's gonna start searching and it will lock on to, looks like it's locked on to 19 channels that I can access just right here in the campground. Then one of the huge, huge features, one that I love for Ventana, because I'm in these coaches all day long and you go through a coach and you flip on all the lights for your customers to see everything because you want it to be well lit and then it's time to leave the coach and you've got to go back and find all those light switches again. You don't have to do that anymore in Ventana. I love it. They added the multiplex lighting system. So just with a touch of a button, I can turn all the lights off in the coach 
and touching the two top buttons, I can get my runway lights. And then I can go through the coach at different panels and turn all the lights back on. But that's huge. I know it sounds lazy, but you know, sometimes you just get that way. <laughs> and we have our 110 outlets for our passenger and the two USB outlets as well. And then of course, the super important feature is that I can just easily turn and then we turn it around and you have two extra chairs for your living room. Welcome to the spacious living room of the 4369. I'm sure you can already tell why this is one of the most popular floor plans. First of all, we've optioned in the very popular recliners in place of the sofa. So these are super comfortable. Now they're not attached, so typically you just need to pull them out about three inches from the wall, and then you can sit down, kick your feet up, and then pretty much I could sleep here. There is a Fulton Temple sofa across from here, but I really, this is all I need. And my TV is gonna be right there on the televator. This is the 49 inch 4K Sony TV. A few other things I wanna point out before I leave my nice uh, comfy chair here is the lamp stand table. So we can put a lamp here. I also like that we've got reading lights for both the recliners. So I can just hit that and I can direct those however, you know, they're at the perfect spot for me. And I love that I have a place to Put my remote controls these are nice deep long drawers look at all that space that you have and you have two drawers there again you have also lighting controls for the ceiling accent lights and high and low beams so i can set the mood in here we've got the the led lights on high right now but i can dim those as well now in the 4369 ventana We've optioned in the Newport Glazed Maple Cabinets. This is a new cabinet for 2019, and I think it's just beautiful. It's a little bit lighter than the Bermuda, but really nice tone with this pretty muslin interior. And we had the muslin exterior on the coach as well. Here we have our fold and tumble sofa. So that's really easy to make into a bed. Just merely lift here pull out and you're going to kind of make a platform there you have your bed you've got your air mattress here with the pump built right in i'm just going to plug that into the wall and blow up my mattress notice a beautiful porcelain tile floor with the metal accents i think that's really nice and then go right up to the ceiling. Notice that it's not cluttered with a bunch of vents. It's nice and clean. Every, your AC um, units are behind these pretty wooden panels. So you just simply pull that down. Here's your AC vents and then your return vents. And it's super easy to change those filters. So all you have to do, unvelcro it. Go wash this off, dry it off, stick it right back up there, and then just snap the panel back into place. Now, there's a couple ways to um, heat this coach. First of all, on the 4369, you're gonna have three um, 15 BTU AC units with heat pumps. Your heat pumps are gonna be good until it hits, you know, just below 40 degrees and then it's not gonna be able to keep up. So you're gonna to wanna to turn on your Oasis, which is your on-demand hot water and your furnace system for the coach. Notice all the great storage that you have on this coach. These are really deep cabinets. So you're gonna be able to put, and there's no divider in between here. So you can fit a lot of things in there. And then, We've got storage, of course, on this side is the coach as well. This is your header. Just like when you build a home, you've got a header that adds strength and stability to your coach. And here is all of our AV equipment. So we've got our um, 
Blu-ray DVD player here, and this is where you would put your direct or dish receiver. More storage, and then again we have control switches for the kitchen overhead, seating, wall, the backlighting, and then our water pump. And now into the beautiful kitchen. So notice the great solid surface countertops. They even give us a little extension for our countertops. So that just little button right here underneath the countertop extends this. And then you've got these two full length drawers. So lots of storage again. Nice storage above here with adjustable shelves. Cabinet where you can put your spices. We have our Whirlpool microwave and convection oven. Now a lot of people ask how these work and I'm telling you, I have one of my customers that I went in to visit them in their coach and she had this beautiful loaf of bread that looked perfect like my mom used to make. And I asked her if she really made that in the convection microwave oven. She's like, yep. So the next time she did it, she did, gave me a whole little video of it raising, cooking in the oven, but these really do a nice job. Newmar also added a little extra latch so this door isn't going to fly open when you're going down the road. Now we also have our induction cooktop. We optioned this Ventana with the all electric package. So say I'm going to cook salmon. I love salmon but I hate the way that it makes my house smell and I don't want to make my coach smell that way either. So I'm going to take this, just lift it out, unplug it, and I'm gonna go cook my salmon or bacon or whatever it may be outside. Another thing that I love on the back of the stove covers, you've got your cutting boards. So say you're using your, your cooktop outside. There you go, you've got extra counter space with your cutting boards right there. A nice deep drawer for, well, we've got remote controls in it, but I have a feeling you're gonna be using this for your silverware and cooking utensils. And then we've optioned this Ventana with the Fisher Pickle um, dishwasher. This is an option for the Ventana. So you just have to hit the power button here and open that up and see, you can get a lot of plates in here, at least 10 plates. You've got your little caddy for your silverware and then another spot for plates, dishes, cups, whatever. We have this, another cabinet here. And then they've given us this nice little garage, appliance garage. And it's got a one a GFCI protector outlet in there, um, two 110 outlets. And so you can tuck your coffee pot or whatever back there. Toaster, I love that feature. Then the beautiful residential faucet here and our sink covers. The cover are nice divided stainless steel sink. Got a little place for our sponges here. Again, it's not big, but I'm gonna find something to go in there. Nice full extension drawer again. We have a spot for our waste can. I like that. I, I don't like to see waste can first thing when I walk into my coach. So I love that they give us that space there. All right, another thing that I love about this sink is I'm having guests over and I don't have time to do the dishes. I can load them all on this side, slide that over, cover it, and still be able to use this side of my sink. You don't have to see all my dirty stuff here. We've optioned this Ventana with the Euro dinette. So you've got storage underneath your seats here. That's a nice amount of storage. People are always asking me, you know, do you like the booth or do you like the table and chairs? But we ordered about 50-50. It seems like people are either booth people or they're table and chairs. Table and chairs, people like that little bit of extra counter space that they get and storage. And then booth people just like the ease of not having to move around chairs or anything. So here, we can easily sit six to this table. I know you're probably thinking, yeah, right, Angie. But this extends. Now Newmar's built in a really cool feature. So we've got, since we've got this full extension here, we need a little extra support here. They used to send a loose T-bar that we had to store in the back. Now it's just hidden right under here. 
just snaps down. And we can put our leaves in. Here I have the two leaves in the dinette and the two extra chairs. You can see that I can easily get six people at this table because I've got plenty of room next to me and then our two extra chairs. Here we have the fantastic fan with rain sensor. So you can use that while you're cooking. You're gonna have two more of these, another one in your half bath and another in your master bathroom. Then we have the beautiful Whirlpool residential refrigerator and nice and big here freezer with the ice maker and we have water in the front door another nice feature on this is that you just flip this little lock well like that <laughs> and then it's locked for when you're traveling so you're not going to worry about losing your condiments your salad dressing all over your beautiful coach 4369 comes with a great pantry so you have these full extension shelves these are adjustable. This one's nice and tall. You can put cereal boxes, oatmeal containers, whatever here, or you can put your crock pot, your Instapot. This is really nice. So you can adjust those shelves. And then I wanted to point out that we have a little thermistor right here. So we have three in the coach, one here midship. We have one right underneath the cabinets in your living room and one in the master bedroom. Those are what um, control the temperature. They speak back and forth with the thermostat. And then we have our half bath. You see we have another control for the fantastic vent. We have our light switch controls and our water pump turns on right here. The heater fan, a GFCI protected outlet with two 110 outlets here. Our nice faucet, the vessel sink, which gives us a little extra counter space here. Storage, more storage, push, push, push button flush Dometic toilet. And then behind the potty here, we've got more storage and then our power control, our breaker box and fuses. And again, Newmar is great to always label what those fuses are and then to give us extra ones right to the side. Gotta love that. And behind the door, once I close this, I have another cabinet that has really nice storage in it as well. We've optioned this Fintana with the central vac, so I can lift up here, connect my hose, and I have that on-off switch on my hose, which is really nice. And then we have the dustpan, so I can just sweep everything over in here, lift that up, and it's gonna suck it all away. All right, moving into the gorgeous master bedroom. We have, the again, the beautiful muslin interior and the king-size bed. We have our 110 and USB outlets on both sides on our nightstands and storage below there. We also have reading lights here and we have more control panels. So we can control our accent lights, our reading lights, our courtesy lights, and our passenger and driver side security lights. So if you hear a noise outside, just go ahead and flip on those lights. It might scare someone away. Then underneath the master bed, we have really nice amount of storage here. Two big storage compartments. And then over here, we've got our slide out control for the bedroom slide. This whole slide is a is a full wall slide so this is for this slide and then we have more lighting controls here look how nice and deep those wardrobes are we have our um, 4k LED Sony TV in the bedroom again nice big wardrobe space double layer drawers here nice and deep with some beautiful solid surface countertop. And then here we have our Blu-ray player uh, for the bedroom. All right, on to the master bathroom. So this is a huge master bathroom. First, we're gonna have the Whirlpool washer and dryer. Those are stackable. 
and they work really well. Most of my customers use those and really enjoy having those in the coach. Then we have this huge 50 by 34 inch shower. That's probably bigger, I think that is bigger than the shower that I have in my home. So come in here, look how huge this shower is. It's nice and big. We've got the fold down shower seat, so you can put that up and you can make a little extra room in the shower. Or if you wanna use it for shaving your legs, this is really nice and comfortable. Another great feature that we have is the shower miser. So this allows the water to circulate back into the freshwater tank um, until it's warm. So basically you just turn this dial here. When this lights up lighter blue, then you know the water is ready, it's hot, ready for your shower. So you're not using extra water. If you're not on city water, you're not using extra fresh water um, from your fresh water tank and you're not filling up your gray tank unnecessarily with just runoff water. It's got this rain shower head that you can adjust. And then we also have the wand here. So I like to have both options. And again, plenty of room for really tall folks and plenty of width. Then we have the great double sink vanity here. I love that. I, you know, I call it the marriage saver. We each have our own space with our own medicine cabinet. Tons of space here. I really, really like that. And they give us the one tin outlet on each side. We also have the multiplex lighting panel again. Something I wanted to tell you about that lighting panel is that there is a button that you can turn off the lights. So if you are a sensitive sleeper, you can't have any lights, you're worried about those little blue lights showing while you're sleeping, you can turn that panel off so you don't have to worry about that. Then behind me here, we have the storage. Oh, first of all, let me show you the storage that we have underneath the sinks. I mean, a huge space. And again, four full extension drawers. So I'm pretty sure I can bring everything from my bathroom at my home and put it in my coach if I want to. And then we have this big master closet. We've got shelves over here that are adjustable. Shelf above here, nice deep wardrobe again. And shelves over here to my right and are safe. Here we have our Dometic toilet with push button controls here. And then we have our emergency egress door. So again, I told you there's no handles on the outside, just the one on the inside. You can actually take this balance and pop the whole thing right off if you need to in emergency need and you need to get out. And you just simply open the door here. You've got the nice grab bar here. So that wind is gonna blow that open today. got the panel which easily just magnetizes off and then we're just going to take that ladder flip it down telescopes down and I can easily get out of the coach and you can use that as many times as you need to it's not a one-time use as much as you need if you just want to use it for loading and loading the coach it's another use for it all right just a little hint if you ever walk into your coach and it smells awful, and believe me, your gray tank can smell as bad as your sewage tank, um, you probably have a problem right here in your pee trap. So what you need to do, it's just like your one at home. I have a shower that we don't ever use. Occasionally I walk into that bathroom, it doesn't smell very good, and all the water has gone out of the pee trap. So I just go ahead and run the water a little bit, fills that up again, and the smell's gone. That's what you need to do here. Just take a gallon of water, put it into your washing machine, put it through the rinse cycle, it will fill that pee trap back, right back up and you're gonna get rid of that odor. I wanted to show you how much room you have when the slides are in on the 4369. First of all, I could be back in the master bedroom, I could be taking a nap on the bed, get up, I can get into my pantry and I can just about fully extend those pantry doors so I can get to everything I need then, of course, I've got the refrigerator, full access there, get your water bottles, and the freezer. And then I can easily get into my half bathroom. And with this special pivot door, I'm never going to hit my bathroom door into my beautiful stainless steel residential refrigerator. Then I could be at the kitchen sink working, sitting at the booth dinette, 
cooking at the stove, plenty of room to do whatever I need with the slides in. I want to go over some of the features here in the cockpit. So first thing that we're going to cover is our equalizer system, which is our automatic leveling jacks. So I'm going to go ahead and turn, I've got to have the ignition on, and then I'll hit the power switch. You'll see all the buttons will light up. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit auto level. And you can hear the coach is going to start to level. It's going to go ahead and continue to beep until we are level. Now you can see that we are level. All four dots are solid and the beeping stopped. And the coach is level. Here we have the tag dump. We're just going to always keep that in auto. The only time that we'd ever take that out is say you were stuck in med and you needed a little bit more weight, then you would put that in manual. We have our engine brake, so on and off, and then we have three levels. So we have high, medium, and low. That's not something you normally get at this level of coach in the industry. We have our air horn, so obviously we have our little, you know, wussy horn. Turn that button on. Okay, I want to make sure they know I'm coming <laughs> if I need them to know that. Then we have our Allison transmission. So we have reverse, neutral, drive, and then the mode button. So if we click that mode button, we can actually go into an economy mode. It does help you save fuel. So easy as that, just do that and you're done. Now if you want to get a little bit more information about your transmission, you can click the plus and then minus arrows together and it's been telling me my oil level. Oil life is 99%. Filters are okay. Trans health is okay. No coats. So now say I'm driving and I'm going down a steep grade and I only, this, this goes to six gears, I wanna only go to five. So I'm in drive and I'm in first gear. Say that I only wanna let it go to fourth gear. So I just click up. And now we've set that so we're only going to go to fourth gear. So you can you can change things like that if you want with your transmission. All right, so we have two drink holders, which I like. They're nice and deep. So you can have one for your cold liquid and say for your coffee as well. Then your dash AC vents here. We have our light switch and our brights and our dim, fog lights and our dome lights overhead. And then we've got our heated mirrors. This is the button for that and the, their controller. So you can adjust the mirror here and the adjustment for our pedals. So I can push those backwards mm -hmm. or forward so that it's really comfortable for me to drive. Here we have our battery boost button. So in 2019, this is great. We Not only it's a bilateral button, so you can charge your house batteries with your chassis battery batteries or vice, or vice versa. Chassis batteries with your house batteries. So if you come into your coach and one or the other is dead, you can push this button to combine them to get enough of a charge so that you can then turn on your generator and it takes, generator runs for a little bit and then you'll have enough uh, voltage to basically start your inverter so it can start charging. All right, I wanna make sure that I tell you about the 24-7 app that Freightliner has. So this is great. You can locate your dealer, 1-800 number uh, for help. You can email them, service survey, or I like to go to um, owner HQ. So you can have specific things about your vehicle, put your calendar in there when you need servicing done. This is a favorite button of mine, the dash lights. So here I can see all the warning codes that I may get and if I'm not sure what they mean I can just click on that that's gonna let me know that to check my transmission indicator so I think that's really helpful this 24 7 app is great another thing that I love about this is when I call that 1-800 number look at that I don't even need to program it, program it into my phone I'm just gonna hit the button and call them and when I call them I'm gonna get a certified technician with an average tenure of about 18 years um, with the company. So I'm not calling a customer service line and going over to someone in another country that I can barely understand what they're saying to me. I'm actually gonna get someone with knowledge that can help me right then. So I think that's huge. 
I want to go over some function in the steering column here. So first of all, we have our cruise control. So I'm always in a hurry when I'm getting ready to leave. I want to air up the coach quickly. One of the tricks to doing that is to turn on your cruise control and hit set. So I just turn it on. The dial lights up, you go green dial, so I know my cruise control is on, and then I hit set. And when I do that, you can see the RPMs raise. And it's gonna air up the coach more um, quickly. Then we've got our headlights here. So if a trucker's passing me and I wanna let him know that it's safe, that he's passing me, safe to pull in, I'm just gonna push that light and he'll know he can pull in. If I'm passing a trucker and I wanna tell him thank you, he's flashed his lights at me, I would use my lights over here, three pushes to say thank you. And on this side, we have our windshield wiper controls. So obviously we just have our on and off and we can go to high low here. But if you wanna set your own um, speed of the windshield wipers, you just hit this button here. Count, 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, hit it again. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, and so on. Then here, we have our comfort drive dial. So I talked a little bit that, about that while I was driving. You can set that all the way to one. In a parking lot, that makes the steering wheel very easy to turn. I can turn it with one finger, no problem. Now, when I'm driving down the road, I typically, personally, like to have it around five or six. I just like it to feel a little bit more tight. Um, I feel like it hugs the road a little bit better. That's just for me. Um, then we have our backup camera here. So we can always see that. And then when I turn on my signal lights, of course, we're gonna see down the right side of the coach and the left side of the coach. We have our dash radio and nav system. So I can just go to menu, my radio, DVD, USB, Sirius XM, Bluetooth, our front auxiliary, which is right behind here. This is the auxiliary for our Bose speaker, our iPod, our navigation system. So let's go ahead and go there. Set up so I can kind of customize my screen here. Okay, here we have our parking brake. So pull to apply, push to release. When your parking brake is pulled, you, now your slide, your slide rooms won't work and you're locked out of your front TV and it automatically locks your cargo base. So before, you couldn't use the slide rooms when you had your ignition on. Now it's not activated by the ignition except um, now it's activated by when you release that parking brake. So it's nice, it gives you a little bit more voltage when you're putting your slide rooms in and out. So I really like that new feature. So our blackout shade, those are both powered. Then we have our overhead fans and high, medium, and low. Here we can start our generator. So we can do that while we're driving down the road if we need to turn on our ACs. And then we have our front fan, which is high and low. Here we have our dash AC. So we can set the, temp the uh, fan speed here, temperature control, and where that comes out. Here we have our USB port, and we have two of them. We can lock the coach from right here and unlock. And then we have our 12 volt connection. Now, a new feature that I love, or I don't know that it's new, but a feature that I love is the charging pad. So you just have to simply lay your phone down there and it starts charging. So I love that, very handy. You can just leave it there while you're driving, grab your phone if you need it. And we have the nice little storage trays. All right, we're here at National Indoor RV Centers and I'm ready to take the Ventana out for a test drive. Get belted in and let's hit the road. All right, as we get ready to pull out of the, the dealership, I'm just gonna talk a little bit about our turning radius. We're in a big class A diesel, obviously and our tires are actually behind us. So I don't actually start my turn until my 
the middle of my front axle is at the turning point. So you've got to give yourself a little bit of room. You're not going to be able to turn into that first lane, but you definitely can get in the second lane. So I'm going to go ahead and start putting my nose out there, put my blinker on, and then I'm going to start my turn. And I can easily get past that curb without hitting it. Your, your uh, bottom mirrors are what I like to watch. You can see the back end of your tires on either side if you're turning right or your left. And I usually watch that, that's my measurement. I can, I can see if they're gonna get too close to the curb and I can slow down and just adjust, straighten out the coach a little bit and I never worry about hitting the curb. Now when you're driving, I want you to always be aware of everything on the right side of you. So whatever lane you're in, you wanna make sure you hug the left side of that lane. Not telling you to stay in the left lane. Don't do that, because that'd be rude. I just use that for passing. Um, but you just want to always hug the left side of your lane that you're driving in, because everything bad happens on the right. Street signs, road debris, you name it. Um, so just hug that left side of the lane. Now the Ventana is equipped with a, a three-stage uh, engine brake, so you have high, medium, and low. I like to keep it on high just as it gives me extra horsepower if I want to go ahead and stop the coach. Um, I have that extra help, and when you're moving this much weight around, I'll take every little bit of help I can get. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just put my take my foot off the gas, the accelerator, and the coach is automatically, I'm not touching anything, foot's on the floor and we're just we're slowly breaking actually it's very gentle didn't even hardly feel the transition but it will help you if you go ahead and you need to really stop quickly all right so now i'm traveling down the road i want to make this a really nice and easy drive i'm going to go ahead and set my cruise control so i gently just hit the button on i'll see a green dial come up on my dash lets me know that my cruise control is on and then i want to when i get it to the speed i want to keep it at i'll just hit set and easy enough. I'm gonna stay right here about 56 miles per hour and this becomes a very easy drive. With Comfort Drive, we've got a fairly decent wind today. With Comfort Drive, you're not gonna feel that. The computer aided driving assist, so with this heavy wind that we have today, I'm merely gonna hold on to the steering wheel. I can do it with one hand if I want to, but I'm not gonna feel that wind. The computer will sense that and it will adjust for me automatically. It will do the same thing if you're driving on a road that has an um, angle to a camper to the road. It's gonna fill that and adjust for you. The Vitana comes with a rear camera so I can constantly see that in my picture while I'm driving down the road. And also if I decide that I need to change lanes or merge, I can turn on my signal and the picture will change to the full side of the coach to the direction that I'm changing lanes. So I've got my right signal on right now. I can see down the full length of the right side of my coach, see that no one's there and I'm clear to go. All right, so we're driving down the highway. Uh, so you can see how nice and quiet and smooth this ride is. I've got the generator running, my three dash ACs for my traveling companions in the back of the coach to keep them nice and comfortable. And I've got the dash AC on it as well. And it's super quiet. My decibel reader is 77.5. And to give you like a point of reference, uh, inside of a car would be 75. Uh, normal conversation is gonna be 70. The Ventana is just super easy to drive. Not only do you have this great camera, your side view cameras, you've got your big windshield so you can see this beautiful country that we have that we are lucky enough to live in. And then we've got the wonderful things that Newmar and Freightliner are at. So we're on the Freightliner chassis. Um, Newmar, you know, adds the star foundation to that. We have the V-Ride suspension. And we have sack shocks, something I maybe didn't mention when we were outside, but they mount those outboards. So those are the same kind of shocks that you'll see on your high-end cars, Rolls-Royce, uh, Maserati. So adding all those things together along with Comfort Drive make this just a fabulous coach to drive. You've got to come try this for yourself. All right, so I've got myself all lined up. I'm going to go ahead and let go of the steering wheel, let Comfort Drive take over. 
and return me right back to center. See how easy it is? And then I'm just gonna put it in reverse and I'm gonna go straight back. Thank you so much for joining me today in this walkthrough of the 2019 New Marvin Tana. I'm sure you've loved this gorgeous coach as much as I have. Now you're probably wondering, what would it cost you to get into this coach? Well, the manufacturer only lets us tell the MSRP, which is the manufacturer's suggested retail price, or the map pricing, minimum advertised pricing, which is 371023. Now, if you want to find out what national indoor RV centers can sell you this coach for, then you're going to have to give us a call, 469-277-1330, or you can visit us on our website at nirvc.com. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe. We'd love to hear from you.